Rigor mortis, Latin for stiffness of death, is the post-mortem stiffening of muscles due to the permanent formation of actomyosin crossbridges. In living muscle, contraction is concluded with the binding of magnesium and ATP to return the muscle to its relaxed state. Postmortem, however, the body is unable to maintain the relaxed state without the presence of adequate amounts of ATP. Rigor mortis occurs in four distinct phases. During the delay phase, usually lasting 6 to 12 hours postmortem, the permanent formation of the actomyosin cross bridges is delayed due to the ability of creatine phosphate in glycogen stores in the muscle to rephosphorylate ADP to ATP, allowing for muscle relaxation. The amount of energy in the form of rephosphorylated ATP, however, is limited, slowly halting the muscle's ability to break the cross bridges, thus increasing muscle stiffness. During the onset phase, muscle will become relatively inextensible as maximum tension is reached. It is important to note that nearly all possible binding sites form a cross bridge during rigor, as opposed to the 20% occupied during normal muscle contraction pH decline can be closely correlated to the rigor mortis cycle as the metabolism of glycogen is the process responsible for the decrease in pH necessary for the conversion of muscle to meat. As crossbridge affinity and tension are at their maximums, rigor completion has been achieved and the muscle is now in the resolution phase. Although muscle tension will be decreased during the resolution phase of rigor, as time postmortem increases, this occurs as a result of proteolytic degradation as opposed to the breakdown of actomyosin crossbridges.